yet another librarian version. Sorry about that. This one is version 123. Okay, we're going to hit enter here because the only open port is zero, and that's the one we want. And it's okay. I'll press enter again. I'm going to do a K to E to space to make sure that um, the DLive is connected okay. All right, nothing really new on this page. Um, let's go to the F2 page. All right, here, um, one thing that's changed is when you t hit press the F2 again and do a highlight, um, and then you press enter, it puts the name of the file or directory on the command line. I had this before as the tab key doing this, but it was confusing me every time, so I, I put it back to using the enter key to do that. So let's hit escape. Um, one thing we can do, one, a new command here is, um, uh, well, to, do, to edit one of these then, like say that it's highlighted, we want to edit it in the editor. This is a preset file because it ends in DLP. We'll press the E key and that, take, that loads it into the editor. F2 to go back. Now, if this was a system profile DLP file, we would press the S key and that would load it into the system profile slots of the editor. All right, let's see. Okay, um, one more thing wait, that's new is a file viewer. So if we highlight it and press V, the V key, it takes us into a file viewer. And here we can, if we press the V key again, it will toggle, and again, and again, it toggles line numbers inside this text viewer. So you can, this is a preset file. You can see there's 64 lines. I can hit uh, home or end to take me to the beginning or end. And that it's uh, all bunched up. The relevant info is kind of bunched up there at the beginning, nothing really here at the end. There are 64 lines because a preset is 256 bytes and there are four bytes per line. So we hit escape to quit. All right, another new thing is highlighting um, a directory. We highlight a directory and we press the C key. It changes directories for us. Okay, so let's do that again. Let me change back down. I didn't want to be in this directory. Let me go to this directory, C. Let me F2 again, C. All right, so here we are. So though you can see that you can change directories easily using the highlight. Okay, if we go to the F3 screen, let's just look at some slots. Um, minus 10 to 0, slot to list, space. Okay, so these are the, um, the presets that are in, these, in slot minus 10 through 0. Okay, we can... Uh, Previously, when I had it, if you highlighted one of these by pressing the F3 key and the arrow keys, uh, hitting the, the enter would edit it. But now it just, it's, it's, we're doing what we used to do. Enter places the file name, the preset name on the command line for you to use for other commands. And hit escape to clear that. If you want to edit it, F3, press the E key, just like on the F2 page. And what this does is download the information from the slot. This was slot minus eight. I took the information from that from the DLove and stuck it in the editor. So we could edit it if we wanted to. Okay, let's go back to the F2 screen. Um, let me change directories down just to be in a little bit cleaner directory. If we hit V here, it um, cleans up the view to only the relevant files. All right, uh, one way um, that's new now to do an entire system backup um, is the new eeprom dump command. So let's give it a file name. Let's call it uh, stuff eeprom dump space. And 
what this is doing is it's downloading all of the preset slots and all of the software from the EE prom. It's everything that's in there. All right. So now we have this slot. Um, we have stuff.eeprom up here. That's a new file. So that's the way to, if you want to just, you know, grab where your system is, everything in it right now, the state of it. Um, like all of the presets that are in the slots and the, and the software itself too. Um, it's all in this one file, stuff.eeprom. And let's take a look at that because, uh, so here we are. And what we see at the very beginning, let's turn the line numbers on, press V. What we see at the very beginning is uh, it looks like a preset, and it is. It's actually preset zero. So if we go page down, we see that oh, there's another preset at 65. So you know, 129, and 193, 257. You know, it all makes sense because there's they're going by 64s. All right, let's go to the end by pressing the end key, and then I'm going to page up some. And what we're seeing here is the software, the very end of the software. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to page up quite a bit to 16, 385. Okay, right here six, at 16385 is the very beginning of the software load. So everything below that, um, everything below that in terms of line numbers and addresses, is uh, are, is all of your presets? So the presets take um, half of the EE prom, and the software takes actually a quarter of the remaining EE prom. So an eighth of the EE prom. So I just wanted to show you that. So okay, escape. Um, now, how do you say you have a system snapshot in your EE prom? How do you restore it? Well, you'd say stuff. E prom bump instead of dump and you hit space and this takes quite a bit longer because writing to an EEPROM is kind of a slow process so it's sort of dull <laughs> but what we're doing here is we're restoring the entire system from um, this one file so all of your presets that were stored in the EE prom, in the stuff.eeprom file, and all of the software that was in there is now being loaded into the DLove. And at the very end, the DLove will uh, reset, and you'll be good to go with your system exactly the way it was with this uh, at the time when the stuff.eeprom file was saved, was dumped. So this is like um, a, a really convenient way to do a factory reset. So when you get your DLove, you can dump the EEPROM if you want. Um, and then you'll have this EEPROM file that you can always just pump back up. And your DLove will be in a factory fresh state. And I'll be supplying an EEPROM file from now on with, with the kits and I will put an EEPROM file on the dlove.com web page for people to use with this new version of the editor. It's almost done. Exciting stuff. <laughs> Alright, so the dlove is back a to B. Yep, D loves fine, and it's back where it was. Not that we changed anything to this one, but we, you know, we could always bring it back to where we want it to be, or where it was. Okay, thanks.